Hello everybody, I'm Brian Essen from How To Automotive and today I wanted to talk to you about some diagnostic equipment and uh, what I wanted to talk to you about is a smoke machine that we use to find EVAP leaks, vacuum leaks, all kinds of leaks on uh, cars and systems. So uh, as, like I was saying, smoke machines are a big part of uh, that diagnostic process and they've always been a little bit out of my price range. So I ran across this company, uh, Redline Detection, they, they make the Ready Smoke smoke machine. This is an affordable smoke machine, portable, made in America machine that actually fits in your toolbox. Most of these smoke machines are just massive and uh, you can't store them anywhere or they're hard to store. And uh, so I called them up and uh, they sent me one out to try out for them and uh, give, me some, give them some feedback on it and I thought I would share it with you guys. This is going to be a cool little tool to help you uh, diagnose cars and uh, like I said the price range of these around anywhere from 650 bucks I've seen online up to about 850 bucks so this is drastically cheaper than uh, some of your other brands out there that are normally around 12 to 1500 dollars and on up for a good quality uh, leak detection machine like this so I'm gonna walk you through some of the steps of what this uh, little machine can do and some of the features in it So I'm excited to share with you guys this little ready smoke smoke machine here. This is a, a tool that I've uh, right out of the box I put it to use and started making money with it. So like I said in the intro this machine is made in America. Uh, it's very compact in size. You can see it here sitting on top of my little stool here with the case that has all the accessories. So on the back of the unit here it has a nice little strap that holds the the electrical cables and also the hose that you would pump the smoke through that you attach to the vehicle so it nicely holds it up there. It comes with an accessory kit here. This is the oil that you pour into the machine. I'll walk you through that process of uh, filling that up. It comes with different assortments of, uh, of, of block off plates. So like you block off intake manifolds and stuff like that. So you, so you can block off where you don't want smoke coming out of. It comes with a little adapter here that you can mount onto EVAP ser uh, service ports and a Schrader valve to remove the uh, Schrader valves out of EVAP service ports. And it also comes with a high power light. Using the light can help you uh, spot that smoke when you're using it and find those leaks. So you can see here I got the case and the leak detection uh, smoke machine sitting on my service cart here and see how small it is. And actually, actually where I keep it is on my service cart. So when you get one of these machines you need to fill it up with the uh, solution here that creates the smoke. They take about two full ounces and each one of these bottles is two ounces. So on the top of the machine here, there's a little knob. We're going to unscrew it and pull it out, and it has a dipstick on it. And we're going to fill that hole up with two ounces of this of the solution. So basically, we're going to pour one whole bottle into the unit here. In the instructions, it says you can get about 100 uses out of each two-ounce bottle of this solution. Once you pour the solution in, you can double-check it with the dipstick. And also when you're using the machine, if you suspect it is low, you could. this is how you would check to see if it needs more fluid or not. To hook the ready smoke, smoke machine up to a vehicle, you're going to take the uh, power cable here and you hook it to the vehicle's battery source. And it requires shop air, so you're going to plug a compressor shop air supply into the back of the machine. And right in the center of the, uh, of the unit is a red button. You just press that, this button and that starts generating the smoke. Now the first time you use it, it's going to take a, a minute or so to get the, the solution pumping through the machine to start generating the smoke. So um, if you look here, as you can see the flow gauge, as I'm putting my thumb over the, uh, the tip here, you can see how big or, or small a leak is on here on the uh, flow gauge. So when you're using this on a, on a car, uh, if the ball falls to the bottom, that's showing zero leak. And if the ball rises all the way to the top, that's showing how a larger leak. And if it's floating somewhere in the middle, then that's your smaller leaks. It also has a pressure gauge on, to the, on the left there. As you can see, as I'm manipulating my thumb over the tip, you can see it moving up and down. If that gauge will also read vacuum. There's a handful of EVAP systems that pull vehicles down into a, a vacuum to test for leaks and that flow gauge will help you determine if it actually is working. So I have it hooked up to a vehicle here. I'm using my scan tool and what I'm doing is I'm opening and closing uh, uh, vent valves and purge valves with the, uh, with the scan tool and I'm using the smoke machine to see if the, the smoke is flowing through the valves. So you can manually unhook the, um, the valves and, and plug one in of the smoke machine into it and then operate the switches with the scan tool and if the switch opens up you'll see the smoke flow through the switches 
So not only finding leaks, but you can determine if the switches are opening up and closing. So I wanted to show you how much smoke this actually pr produces. So the smoke machine is hooked up at the front of the vehicle. I'm underneath the car by the, by the gas tank. I have the vent line here pinched off of a pair of pliers. And uh, as I open up these pliers, you can see how much smoke pours out of these vent lines. On some of the vehicles, you can close off the, the vents with, a, with the scan tool. And, and on some vehicles, you have to apply your own power and ground to the vent switches and, and valves to get them to work. So I like to, I like to pinch them off manually and then, and then check it for leaks. And then once I determine there's no leaks manually, then I go back and I kind of uh, all chest the the vent valves and purge valves. Like I said, some of them you can control with scan tools on some vehicles you cannot. So I got a little tip for you. So on this vehicle, I was looking at it and it's obviously where the leak is on it. I had a code for a, a large EVAP leak and you can see the hose was split right there in the front. But I recommend that even after you you repair those le obvious leaks that you hook your smoke machine up to the vehicle and test it test it again just because you fixed this leak doesn't mean that there's not another leak somewhere in the system so i recommend you hook the machine up and and do the tests from from the start so now i got the smoke machine hooked up to a, another vehicle here and i'm going to test for a vacuum leak so it, this vehicle had a code intake pressure vacuum leak and it has a map sensor here that detects that so i'm going to hook the uh, smoke machine up to the uh, vehicle on the vacuum port there and i'm going to inject the smoke into it turn the machine on i also put a, a block off use one of the block off plates here on the throttle body here so that none of the smoke in the manifold comes out of the throttle body here now i'm going to use the high power light that comes in the kit and i'm just going to work my way around the uh the engine and thoroughly look for uh signs of smoke coming out of a vacuum hose or out of a gasket for the manifold so one way you can check the uh to see if there is an actual leak is by checking the flow gauge here so the little knob at the bottom controls how much flow is actually coming out of the machine so you crank it all the way over to the left and that's a full power and if the float floats up to the top that's a large leak and the, if the ball floats down at the bottom then there's a, no leak or a small leak so if you look here the only leak i really found on this vehicle was occasionally out of the throttle shaft i'll see some a little puff of smoke coming out of the throttle shaft so what i'm going to do is operate the uh, throttle and open it and close it and see if i can create that leak a little bigger and if you look, it might not pick it up on camera, but every now and then I see this little puff of smoke coming out of the throttle shaft. So that's one of my vacuum leaks. It's not a very big one. It's probably not the reason why this um, check engine light is on. So I determined this vehicle did not have a vacuum leak. So my next step would be to use a lab scope and check the map sensor and see if that's operating the way it's supposed to. Now I have another vehicle here that had an intermittent uh, misfire at idle and vacuum leaks are pretty common cause for that so i'm going to use the ready smoke here to uh, smoke this uh, honda here to see if there's any vacuum leak that idle i got the the throttle body blocked off so now i got the smoke machine pumping smoke into the manifold and now i'm just going to thoroughly uh, search around and see if that's the cause of this misfire so after thoroughly searching around for a vacuum leak i determined that this vehicle did not have a vacuum leak and a vacuum leak was not the cause of the misfire so i needed to check ignition and uh, actually what this turned out to be was the EGR valve was turning on and there was a gasket underneath the plenum that was installed wrong causing the, uh, the EGR to flow directly into one cylinder causing an intermittent misfire. But with the help of the ready smoke machine I determined that this vehicle didn't have a vacuum leak and it helped me steer me into the right direction of diagnosing this particular problem. You can also check uh, exhaust systems for leaks by using the, the cone you can stuff that into the uh, muffler and then inject the smoke into the uh, muffler just do it when the exhaust system is cold and then uh, a lot of times when they are they're warm uh, exhaust scent manifolds and uh, leaks will seal themselves up so if you do it with a cold exhaust you can check around and, and check for exhaust leaks so if you're in the market for a smoke machine this is a good one i would highly recommend it so I will link up the smoke machine in the description of the video. I'm Brian Essa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, encourage you to subscribe, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again.